When it comes to determining what proper technique for a barbell bench press looks like, first and foremost, you must figure out what your specific goal is. For example, if you're a bodybuilder and you're trying to hypertrophy your chest as much as possible, your bench press technique is going to look different than a power lifter who's trying to lift as much weight as possible. Now, in general, most women want to look good, they want to feel good, and they want to feel healthy and strong. So the bench press technique that I'm going to be talking about today is going to lead them towards that goal. Okay, so it's going to be keeping us safe, it's going to be making us strong, and it's going to be helping us add lean mass. So first and foremost, you want to master the dumbbell bench press and you want to master push-ups before you move on to the barbell bench press. Both of those exercises for me are precursors before you start doing this more advanced exercise. Now a couple things, you're going to um, get the bar set up, get the bench set up, and some things that you might not think about when it comes to a barbell bench press is that it's actually a full body exercise. Your glutes should be tight, your core should be tight, you should be driving your feet into the floor, you should be squeezing your back together all just to get set up to bench press. You want to make sure that your base is as stable as possible. So you're going to get back on the bench, you're going to lie on your back, you're going to make sure that the bench is set up so that when you lift it out of the hooks that you're not hitting the hooks, that it's not too high up for you. Okay? You're going to pull your shoulder blades together and you're going to brace your core. You might have a slight arch in your back because when you pull your shoulder blades together, it's going to prop you up on the bench a little bit. Now you want to make sure that you're not excessively arched unless you're doing a more powerlifting style bench. When it comes to your grip, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart works really well for most people. Again, powerlifters or bodybuilders might go a little bit wider, but we're going to be right outside shoulder width. If you go for a more narrow grip, that's fine too, but just know that it's going to hit your triceps a little bit more than your chest. So you're here, you're going to pull your shoulder blades together, you're going to squeeze your glutes, you're going to take a big deep breath in through your nose. Get that rib cage in position, get nice and tight. You're going to breathe in and lift the bar out. You're going to row the weight down, keeping your elbows slightly tucked. Hit about your sternum, and you're going to drive the weight up. Now where exactly you hit the bar on, the, on your chest is going to depend on what feels comfortable for you, but for most people, again, right about sternum height works really well. Another thing to think about is when you're pressing the bar up, think about almost pulling the bar apart. That helps you keep your elbows tucked and helps you activate your triceps. So that's what a barbell bench press looks like.